For our project, we decided to increase participation and support for World Vision's 40-hour challenge to get clean water to the kids in Malawi. HS has participated in this challenge for many years now, but we wanted to revamp it and give it some new life. We kicked this off by hosting a fundraiser quiz night and auction for parents, staff, and the wider school community. We also wanted to create a support network for those participating in the challenge, which was done by organising a camp out at school for 40 hours. Here, we supported each other through our individual challenges, while also completing the challenge of living in cardboard boxes we built into a village. Earlier in the year, we attended the World Vision Youth Conference. We came back feeling inspired to help out and ready to get our community on board. By doing this challenge, we are helping those kids in Malawi have what we take for granted every day. Not only through monetary needs, but also through education and growing awareness in our school and wider community. By doing the 40 hours in a box challenge, we were able to increase participation in this event and therefore increase our contribution to this amazing cause. Inspiring a shared vision is envisioning the future, getting others on board and having a common destination or goal in mind. We had a vision to help the kids in Malawi and inspired the same vision in our peers and other student council members so we could all have the same destination in mind and work towards that common goal. Through instilling the same vision in our other leaders and people around us, we were able to all work towards a common goal and make the events an even bigger success. One challenge we faced in this process was that some of the student council members weren't keen on staying the weekend at school and didn't think that other students would want to do that either. We worked through this challenge by clearly communicating the idea behind it and through setting a clear expectation, we were able to get them excited and enthusiastic about our vision. However, a success in this leadership practice that we had was our communication with our teachers and school leaders, as we were able to communicate our expectations and goals clearly in our meetings with them. Through this, we got them on board and had a common destination in mind. We learned a lot from this experience, but the greatest takeaway was the importance of clear communication with our team of organisers and with our staff and teachers, as it allowed us to more easily inspire shared vision with others and get them on board with our events. Encouraging the heart is recognising and appreciating individuals and celebrating successes to create a sense of community. Since we enabled others to act and trusted them with specific responsibilities, it was important for us to give them recognition for a job well done and celebrate how their hard work played a key role in the overall success of the event. We thank the teachers, student council and participating students for their hard work and dedication towards the cause, making them feel valued and appreciated. We also showed our appreciation towards the other students who took part in the challenge to raise funds by reminding them of the amazing things it will do in Malawi. We also gave everyone who took part in the 40 hour famine a 40 hour famine badge to give recognition and celebrate their achievements, which ultimately created a greater sense of community and celebration. A challenge that we faced with this practice was that we found it difficult to come up with an idea to really recognise specific individuals who sacrificed a lot of time and energy into making this event possible. However, we think we were successful in encouraging and appreciating others to make it a really supportive and fun weekend, which created a real sense of community. One of the main things we learned during this experience was the importance of giving recognition to the work people did in the team and cel celebrating that success. This is extremely important as it ensures that the people in the team feel valued, recognised and appreciated by the rest of the team, as they can feel proud of the work they did. As a school and as a student council, our vision and goal was to create a community where people were encouraged and inspired to support one another in their challenges, while also having some fun through fostering and developing relationships. But ultimately, we wanted to impact the lives of the children in Malawi and help make a difference, and we believe that we achieved that. Through the quiz night and camp out at school, we were able to inspire a shared vision in the parents, teachers, students and other members of our community and get them on board. In the organisation behind the event, we enabled others to act through trusting our community leaders, teachers and other leaders with the tasks that they were in charge of completing. And lastly, we made sure to appreciate and celebrate the su success of the event as a team, but we also celebrated individual successes and efforts as well.